So important aspects of this one and a big takeaway for this message is that football pre-seasons and off-seasons are the balance between getting in appropriate training load to improve your speed, your power, your strength and your capacity without increasing your risk of injury. So there's a trade-off. If we do too much or too little, any of those extremes, we're opening ourselves up for injury. If you do too little because the game is so brutal, when we when you start playing match play and start playing games, you're not going to be ready to transition and you'll be vulnerable for injury. And if you do too much, you might not um, time your run and you either mentally burn out around April or you physically overload your body to the point where you get an overload type injury. So there is a sweet spot um, and listening to your body is really, really important. But the number one takeaway from this one is that we now, if you've had a few weeks off, we want to start getting back onto routine and start climbing the mountain. Our first exercise for this presentation is a bottleneck. So what I want you to think about for last year is what was the bottleneck of your performance? Okay, so what was when everything was going really well and you were in flow? Okay, so if we, anal- if we think of the analogy of pouring water out of a bottle, it starts really fast at the initial part and then the, the bottleneck slows down that flow. Okay, so what, was the, what is the bottleneck of your performance? When you don't perform at your best on a given week, was it because of your capacity to run? Was it your ability to maintain your position, so your strength? Was it your first three steps, your acceleration? Um, was it your body composition? Were you a little bit overweight or were you too heavy? So from an athlete development point of view, I want you to note down what was the bottleneck of your performance? What affected your flow to play the best game possible? Focusing on your strength. So that slide before was obviously a little bit more around making you well-rounded because football does demand a lot of different aspects of you to play good footy after week after week. You need to be fit, you need to be fast, you need to be strong, you've got to be agile, you've got to be all the things that, um, that is required on the body. Um, so that's focusing on your weaknesses. This is focusing on your strengths, this slide. So I want you to note down what separates you from your peers. Why do you play in that position and your peers don't? And what separates you from the competition? What is your axe, so to speak, for, in terms of your athletic ability? So a focus for your Get Better Plan this time of year is note down one area that you think will help you work uh, widen your bottleneck increase the bottleneck. So if it's something that's really limiting your game, it might be the reason why you, you pl- everything, every part of your game is a strong suit and you, you're getting picked, you would get picked in the side, but you're not playing in a certain position that you want to play because of that bottleneck. Or it might be, you might be playing the reserves because of the bottleneck or, you know, or you might play one good game, but then you don't play back-to-back performances because of your bottleneck. So note down what's an area this off-season, pre-season that you're going to focus on to improve this bottleneck of your game. News at Prepare Like a Pro. So just some updates, like I mentioned at the start of the presentation, this will be a platform where I'll just let you guys know some new things that are coming, some exciting things that are coming to make the program better. So uh, all our coaches currently are Melbourne Victorian based, but um, we've got a coach coming on board from Adelaide, a coach coming on board from Sydney and a coach coming on from Perth. So um, hopefully the next few weeks, We'll sign those guys up and they'll be set up to work with athletes around the country, which is exciting. Uh, Looking to try and get a coach in every state so everyone can um, work with a Prepare Like a Pro coach in each state. 